the other myth is immigrants increase the budget deficit and government debt. Yeah, so this is related to that. Um, and, and it's really hard to try to wrap your heads around sort of the government debt issue because immigrants, of course, consume some government benefits. But on the other hand, they also pay in taxes. So do they consume more in benefits and they pay in taxes or vice versa? Uh, one of the things to recognize is that um, government benefit consumption is temporal in nature. It changes with your age. So when you're really young, people take a lot of benefits. This includes like public school and a lot of other welfare. And then when you're in middle age, you know, from age 20 or so to 65, people don't take a whole lot of benefits generally. But then you take a lot when you retire, like Medicare and Social Security are gigantic. They're by far the biggest portions of the American welfare state. And so what's interesting to realize is that if an immigrant comes at like the age of 20 and they start working, that's immediately fiscally positive because we didn't have to pay for that person's uh, high school and um, uh, middle school and education. So that right there is like an enormous boost. And what we find is even with immigrants who are high school dropouts in the United States, if they come at a young enough age, like under 30, pretty much, um, they pay more in taxes than they receive in benefits uh, over the course of their working life. Now, of course, the more educated they are, and the younger that they come, the more positive it is, so long as they're like above 17 or so years old, the more positive it is uh, for that. But the other, the other big lesson is if you've got problems with budget deficits, if you've got problems with you know, the solvency of the federal government, um, you, know, you can tinker with immigration a little bit here and there to make it a little worse or make it a little better. Um, but really, it's a tax and spending problem. So like... It's just not going to fix it one way or the other. You're not going